Blackhead disease, caused by an infectious single-celled protozoa, is a poultry parasite that infects chickens, game birds such as pheasants, partridges, and quail, and especially turkeys. An outbreak of blackhead typically results in a mortality rate of 80 to 100% in a flock of turkeys. With no approved treatment available, prevention is key in keeping your turkeys and other poultry safe. We're the hobby farm guys. I'm Brian, that's Steve, and the guy in the box is Eric, running things behind the camera. We love to talk about hobby farming and serve as a resource for people with questions on hobby farm topics. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can find us when you need us. But now, let's discuss blackhead disease. Blackhead is a disease that affects gallinaceous birds and is particularly devastating to turkeys and peafowl, and to a lesser extent, broiler chickens. First reported in turkeys located in Rhode Island in 1892, it's speculated that the disease may have arrived with the Chinese ringneck pheasant, which was imported in 1881 and widely released as a game bird. You see, while all gallinaceous birds are susceptible to blackhead, how they're able to tolerate it varies widely. Turkeys, domestic or wild, almost always develop severe disease following infection. Peafowl, some partridges, and some grouse are also prone to severe disease. Several quail, additional partridges, and guinea fowl fall into the next tier where clinical disease is common but with a much, much lower death rate. And on the opposite end of the spectrum we find chickens. Chickens rarely become infected and if they do get sick, they tend to exhibit mild symptoms. For those of you wondering, waterfowl like ducks and geese, even muscovies, fall in a different family and don't suffer from blackhead. Now, we keep calling a blackhead. That's a common nickname. Scientifically, it's known as histomoniasis, and it's caused by the protozoan histomonas meliagris. So, we'll just stick with blackhead because that's way easier to say. Yeah, the name is rather misleading. In exceptional circumstances, the disease can lead to a blackening of the head in turkeys, but it's actually quite rare. The primary indicator of blackhead is a bright yellow, frothy diarrhea, often coupled with weight loss in a dull, listless manner. The proliferation and spread of blackhead occurs in one of the most unique ways in all of biology. The single-celled protozoa that causes blackhead, while devastating once inside the bird, doesn't last long in the environment. They're just too delicate. So the parasite developed a plant. It learned how to hide in and receive protection from another common poultry parasite, the cecal worm. Cecal worms, or Heterocus gallinarum, for those of you who like to watch us struggle to pronounce Latin names, are parasitic roundworms that infect gallinaceous birds. They're common in chickens, but may also infect turkeys. These cecal worms, as their name implies, infect and live in the cecal, a distinct part of the digestive system of the birds. The blackhead protozoa, in addition to infecting the cecal of the bird, also infects the female cecal worms living there and become incorporated within the worm's eggs. Then, as these eggs are shed in the chicken's droppings, the blackhead parasite is hiding away inside, protected by the egg of the cecal worm. These eggs can survive in the environment for years. The infectious cecal worm eggs are eaten by foraging chickens or ground-dwelling organisms, such as earthworms, sow bugs, grasshoppers, and houseflies, which continue to provide a hiding spot for the eggs until they themselves are eaten by a chicken or a turkey. Once the infectious eggs have found their way back inside a bird, they hatch into larval cecal worms and release the blackhead causing protozoa at the same time. Both the worms and the protozoa multiply and infect the cecal and digestive system of the bird. Interactions between the protozoa, the cecal worms, and pathogenetic bacteria in coccidia already present in the digestive system of the host bird result in a full-blown infection. The blackhead protozoa eventually spread to and damaged the liver of the host bird. And the process starts anew as blackhead protozoa infect newly formed eggs within the maturing cecal worms inside the bird's digestive tract. Once blackhead has invaded the flock, Transmission by direct contact with infected birds or via fresh droppings can quickly spread the disease throughout the entire flock. This direct bird-to-bird -bird transmission without the use of the cecal worm host is unique to turkeys. It doesn't happen in chickens. While chickens can get blackhead, the disease is typically much less severe, but it can still lead to poor health and reduced egg production. 
Broiler flocks can experience morbidity and moderate mortality. The liver lesions seen in turkeys as a result of blackhead tend to be absent or less severe in chickens, but can involve secondary bacterial infections. In most cases, chickens recover from clinical signs but remain carriers, whereas turkeys succumb to the infection. Signs of a blackhead infection appear 7 to 12 days following infection. Birds with blackhead disease are usually listless and have drooping wings, unkept feathers, reduced appetite, and sulfur yellow droppings. Typically, the cecum and liver of the infected bird will become inflamed and develop ulcers. Young birds become sick quickly and usually die within a few days after signs appear. The disease develops more slowly in older birds and they often become emaciated prior to death. The unique structure and metabolism of the blackhead protozoa makes these organisms immune to treatment with anticoccidials and antibiotics. However, antibiotics are usually considered beneficial to treat secondary bacterial infections that may accompany blackhead. Historically, nitromiodazoles were used for prevention and treatment and were highly effective, but they were also an arsenic-based drug. In 2015, the drug company producing it voluntarily stopped marketing the drug and asked the FDA to withdraw its approval due to concerns about inorganic arsenic levels in birds treated with the drug. So currently, there are no animal drugs approved to prevent, treat, or control blackhead disease in the U.S. And that's why you often hear the advice not to keep chickens and turkeys together, because healthy chickens and game birds often carry the cecal worm, which may include the blackhead protozoa. Right. It doesn't harm the chickens, but if it gains access to turkeys, the results can be devastating. Some areas have problems, other areas not so much. You'll want to check around prior to adding turkeys to your chicken flock or vice versa. With no vaccine or treatment drugs, it becomes important to take steps to prevent blackhead from becoming a problem. So here are three things to do to combat blackhead. First, control the host. Without the cecal worm, blackhead can't survive in the environment. Keep worm levels in your chickens as low as possible. While largely unaffected by the worms themselves, chickens act as reservoirs for cecal worms and by extension blackhead, allowing them to persist and infect more susceptible species like turkeys when given the opportunity. Next, maintain pasture areas where the birds are free-ranging. Rotating through paddocks can help lower parasite burdens by limiting the concentration of parasites allowed to accumulate in an area. Also, keep the pasture maintained, especially in terms of drainage. Wet, muddy conditions, particularly in warmer areas, provide an environment in which the blackhead and cecal worms thrive. Not only do damp pastures allow for puddles to form where birds can drink contaminated water, it brings other worms to the surface where they may ingest eggs and then serve as carriers. And number three is to have a biosecurity plan. Because the protozoa can remain dormant in eggs for such a long time, they're extremely difficult to combat once they've been introduced into an area. It's far easier to fight to keep them out rather than fight to get them out. Rigorous cleaning and disinfecting should take place as much as possible. Try to limit access to poultry areas by wild birds who may carry the disease. And of course, you don't want to track in problems yourself, so avoid wearing clothing and boots from other areas into your poultry area. There is some evidence to suggest that oregano-based products added to feed or water may be helpful in reducing the incidence and severity of disease in some cases. The only guaranteed way to combat blackhead is to prevent it. I've kept both chickens and turkeys for years, and I've never had a problem. They do have separate living areas, but they spend time together free-ranging. I'm lucky enough to live where blackhead isn't a huge problem. Others won't be so lucky. If you live where blackhead is common, you'll need to be hyper-diligent if you plan on keeping turkeys or peafowl, especially if you also plan for or currently have chickens. Heck. Even if the people before you had chickens, remember, eggs can survive for three years. Well, that's blackhead, a nasty single-celled protozoa that sneaks into another parasitic host to gain access to its victims. If you have experience with blackhead and what has worked or not worked for you, share it in the comments and we'll all get smarter. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and keep on hobby farming.